Hey everyone, welcome back to another week in my life as a professional ballet dancer. It is travel day, it's Tuesday. We are opening our production of Sleeping Beauty in Southampton. So we are traveling to Southampton, but of course we had company class in Birmingham first. And then afterwards I did a little bit of extra practice. I had had the flu at the weekend, so my body was really, really feeling it. Um, and so I just overall felt a bit weak and fatigued, which was not really the way I wanted to start my week whatsoever. So I was feeling a bit disappointed with myself. I know that's not a great outlook because you can't control when you get ill, but it was very frustrating for me. Hey guys, what's up? If you're new around here, my name is Hannah Martin. Today we are off to Southampton for our first shows of the year, Sleeping Beauty. We're about to get the coach for about half an hour. I'm not going to do what I always do, where I'm like running it so fine. I'm now going to go get ready. I have to say I've, I've been a bit under the weather the last few days, so struggling to kind of try and get myself back into things. But I did class this morning because I really want to be in my best form for the opening night. Tired from fighting this flu or whatever it's been that I've been fighting. So I have to give myself grace as I keep saying on this channel. Continue to give myself grace. <clears throat> Just do bare minimum at the moment, which is not my style. If you watch any of my vlogs, I'm not a bare minimum type of gal. <laughs> Hey, we arrived in Southampton. Woo! There's my spot and it begins. <laughs> now we're gonna go get food and sleep. Food. Wow, my enthusiasm, enthusiasm levels are really high right now. But let's go, let's go, go. To give this clip some context, there is a character called Red Riding Hood who comes and attends Aurora's wedding at the end of the ballet and I was debuting this at the end of this week so I thought why not get some extra practice in and Matilde was pretending to be the wolf so we had a good laugh and then I ordered in. I never normally do this on the first night of tour but I was honestly feeling completely out of it so I got a Wagamama's stir fry which I don't think I would do again because it was quite oily compared to what I would normally eat. But again, my appetite was a bit off too, so everything was a bit strange. Um, this was the breakfast that was available at this hotel. I'd never had breakfast at this hotel before. They had an excellent selection of pastries, but a big downside is they had no fresh porridge. It was just instant oats, and I don't do instant oats, but I did this week. Uh, I brought all my extra bits and bobs with me, like my flaxseed and my cocoa powder to make it just as much like home as possible. Then we went to a different studio to go and do our warm-up class, which we don't normally do. We normally do it on stage, but because it was the first day, the stage wasn't ready. Um, and then I had lunch in this cute cafe with the gals. So I just finished my first stage call for Lilac Attendance, which was fun. We're now going on to Act 1. We had class this morning, but it was very short, so... It's not been too strenuous day yet, but we still have Act 1 and Act 2 to go here. And then we have the evening session, which is Act 1, Act 2, Act 3. So let's keep going. <laughs> Last bit of the evening. <laughs> I look like Fiona. Yeah, Shrek is waiting for me on stage. <laughs> this will be me tomorrow. Have fun, ladies. I will, we will. I think we should get those together. Good morning everyone. I have been not a great vlogger this trip so far. Yesterday we had two runs of the ballet but we didn't really get fully through the first run so it was very slow yesterday as it is every first day I've taught. A lot of sitting around, a lot of waiting around. Today is going to be a double run or general rehearsal in the afternoon. So a general rehearsal is where we do the show just like it's a show. We do hair, we do makeup, we have the photographers come in and it's basically a show. Tonight is opening night. There's some stuff that happened last night so it means that there's going to be a lot of changes. Just awaiting the new grids. The grids is where we find out what roles we're doing every night. Obviously we've already had a grid but apparently we just got an email saying a lot of it's going to get changed so it'll be fine. I haven't really been myself. My body has been all right using my brain in any capacity now that's been the tricky spots which is just not really the way i wanted to start 
this tour I can only go up from here <laughs> i got a really good sleep last night and good breakfast well good breakfast as good as instant oats can be they don't have like real porridge here they just have instant oats we are grateful and i'm about to read a bit of my bible <laughs> Sewing time, and now it's time. I've said time too many times. Good, excited. Let's get it done. Lolic attendance into Aurora's friends, into nymphs, into life settings. Yeah. Nymphs, let's go. Aurora's friends is done. We got this girls almost there. Act two, then act three, and then bedtime. <laughs> So I forgot to vlog after opening night, but it all went okay. And then it was on to Friday where we had a stage rehearsal before performing again in the evening. And I was just preparing some of the steps. Again, I was still not feeling 100% mentally. I feel like this was my worst mental day, to be honest, because I was really tired, um, as you can tell from this clip. Hi everyone, I haven't vlogged all day again. Yay, we had rehearsal. It was, it was a rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> you were way more cheery before you turned the camera off. <laughs> they sucked. <laughs> We've had about four mental breakdowns. So we're all a little bit on delirious level 18. Guys, we, we haven't slept much. Does anyone have anything positive to say? Does anyone have anything positive? After tonight, we're gonna be halfway through the show. So you're like already done. Halfway through the show. Only halfway. Like... <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Oh, did, did you get that on film? Was no, that your head? Yeah. It's all going down now. Concussion. We did it. She did an amazing, amazing fairy joy. Hashtag Lila Look Fairy. It's time to put that horrid wig off. And now it's time to finish the ballet. Do you smell? I'll help you. I think I've got it. There's just a little hook in there. Yes. I'm just praying this headdress doesn't fall off. This thing gives you a headache, I'm telling you. I, do, I think it's it's not good for you. I just got back to the hotel. I need to shower. I'm getting in my own head. This whole trip, been getting in my own head. Just where I've been tired and I've been fighting this flu. Double show day tomorrow. I need to get some sleep because I need to pack everything up. I have no appetite all day. I've eaten because I've had to, but not because I've wanted to. It is the last day. I feel like I haven't vlogged most of this time and last night was a bit depressing because I was very tired and was still trying to get out of that mojo. I didn't sleep a whole lot last night. I really don't feel like I've been myself this tour at all. And that's really sad. We've got the job done and it's time for room view. We were in a new hotel. We were in the Moxie Hotel this time around, which we've never been in. You know what? The, the experience was pretty pleasant. I don't remember most of it because again, my brain doesn't feel like it's really been here. You know, that bit of brain fog from the flu. You know, when you've like lived an experience but can't really remember much about it, that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. Um, the bed was super comfy, got no complaints about that. The view I have to say is not, it's not the one. The TV is a big win because you could connect your phone to it and stream. So you could like stream your own Netflix, stream your own YouTube, like this was one of the best features of the entire room. Quite cool light that switched automatically on and off when you need to get up in the night. Sometimes I, I need to get up in the night and, I, and then I don't want to put the light switch on because it's really quite abrupt in your face, but just the one under the, under the bed was quite nice. Got your like normal bits and bobs here. Nothing, nothing to write home about, no biscuits. Little mirror here. We all did comment on this decor here, which was a little bit creepy, especially this smiley face. I think we have a hairdryer there. I don't think there's a wardrobe. Then we've got all of our just nice little work top there. 
and the shower no bath which obviously i love a bath but um it did the job it really did do the job there's no fridge so obviously that that's marks off as well but i'm gonna say let's give it a 6.57 out of 10 not bad could use some improvements but i like some of the features let's give it a seven because of the tv right let's get to the theater I don't think I'll wear these ones tonight because I hate new shoes on stage. We just finished another show and there's loads of people who just watch the show who are looking at me through the window of this restaurant. Spit on food. And mum is here with me. And I'm not stressed. Just tired. I haven't had any sleep. But we're going to get some food, so. I've got so much makeup on. I look so tired. So I've been to Southampton a couple of years running, but I've only found this restaurant this year and I love it. It's, it's healthy and it's yummy. Nice dinner. It was very nice actually. Soon enough, it was time to get back to the theater to get ready for the show. I had another busy one tonight with an added debut of Red Riding Hood, which is one of the solo roles that I'm doing the ballet, which is super exciting. And I had so much fun doing it. I actually didn't feel very stressed considering it was a new role I was doing. I felt pretty well prepared and I was excited just to finally get out there. I got to wear this white wig, which is, it looks funny, but it's quite a lot of fun to get on. And my mum really enjoyed the show. Also just big appreciation for Beatrice Palmer who debuted as Aurora that evening. Amazing. I was also super excited because I was going home with my mum. She was taking me back with her and I was gonna spend the Sunday with my family. Hopefully a slightly more normal Hannah back here. Considering how many different roles I was trying to manage and I was doing multiple spots as well. So one night I'd be doing one spot in a dance and the next night I'd be doing the same dance but in different different spots. For me, that was a big win, especially not being at my 100% and knowing that I can still perform something that I will take with me coming into these next few weeks. The kind of definition of being a professional is performing no matter where you are mentally or physically. You know, that's a skill that you attain because you just learn how to cope and get on with it. <laughs> Sometimes, even when you don't feel your best, trying to recover from this illness has kind of pushed me back a bit. Like, mentally, this virus has affected me way more than physically. But yeah, so after the shows last week, I went home just for one day and came back to work on Monday. And it's Thursday today. I don't know if I already said that. Still not fully feeling mentally all with it. Let me know if you guys have had the flu this year and if it's kind of mentally affected you quite a bit because this is really strange for me. I think if you've seen on my blog, I'm a very motivated person. The last like two to three weeks, I have not felt myself in my own skin and it's been a difficult experience to be quite frank. Next week we start shows again and we kind of don't stop for quite a few weeks. So you'll be seeing more performance vlogs coming up very shortly. I have, I think, six shows next week and then seven on the following week. The place was kind of left in a mess when I went to Southampton. I actually just remember chucking everything in my suitcase, not knowing what I would need, but just putting too much in. And so I need to now clean up that mess from last week, but also prepare for next week and also try and rest and recover. So trying to do all of those things and also I want to train and get better and improve. Trying to find some equilibrium in all of this. If you made it to the end of this vlog, comment this emoji. I think what I can take away from this is... Oh, guys, I'm really trying. <laughs> I just can't think of anything. There's a lot of takeaways. I'm sure there is. Can't think of them quite yet. I think I need a little bit more sleep. I have Move It coming up, which I'm performing at, and I'm creating a new piece, and there's been no time to create it, so I'm really, really trying to use my creative energy, but there isn't any. <laughs> my body is really sore this week. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining, but it's been really sore. Um, I'm grateful for the things I've learned. I'm grateful that I'm feeling better than I was last week. I'm just praying that like, God's gonna guide me. Guys, I will see you very soon in my next vlog. And remember to keep dreaming big and making it happen. See you guys very soon. Bye.